some of the things that we've seen from citizen complaints or citizen concerns is that their subdivisions weren't treated in time or, or as quickly as we would like to have been there. Um, within 48 hours after the event is stopped, we try to get a passable lane within these subdivisions. What we ran into was that most of the equipment that we had for this event that we usually that we have in subdivisions are smaller trucks, which are four by fours. On Friday, we did a great job of keeping up in these subdivisions as far as with the four by fours. Saturday came and we just got pelted with snow. So it required us to have larger equipment in the area that we had to move around to get into these subdivisions. But before we were able to move that heavy equipment into the subdivisions, we had to clear the interstate and the primary and the high volume secondaries. There was also um, some misconceptions or some, some information that was out there on a public website about the VDOT snowplow tracker. The Fredericksburg District is in a pilot program for the snowplow tracker. So we, we don't have the same equipment that Northern Virginia uses, which is an AVL system. And Northern Virginia has all of their contractors equipped with this equipment. The contractor actually pays for the equipment and, it, and it's monitored through our system. In Fredericksburg, we had to buy 257 iPhones. Those 257 iPhones were distributed throughout Caroline County, Spotsylvania County, and Stafford County. So when citizens were looking at the map, they were only getting a very small picture of the resources that were out in Stafford County trying to remove the snow. Um, did we miss things during snow? Of course, we miss things all the time, but that's where we, we look for the citizens to provide us updates and calls and let us know we miss things, and we take that um, and try to act on it as soon as possible. Uh, concerning this pilot program you've got, I, I, I'm glad you explained it, but I quite frankly don't understand it because we've got so many areas in the rural parts of the county that have no cell phone coverage. So if you get up in Hartwood or Rock Hill District, those places where there's no cell phone coverage, and a citizen goes online and says, oh, by the way, there are no snow plows in Hartwood or Rock Hill. I, are you going to continue that program, or is that... Until the program can be fine-tuned as way Northern Virginia does with their AVL locations, we're going to not put that public information out there anymore. Good. We're Thank ceasing you. that. You said something Thank very you. important, which was the calls from the citizens are helpful. It's not like you have five or six people driving around saying, oh, we need to call somebody there. I mean, you, you don't have the eyes on the ground. Correct? I do. Yeah, we have you eyes do. on the ground. Can you explain to us what that means? Yes, we have monitors that are assigned to different areas throughout each area headquarters. And Stafford County is broken into two different area headquarters. You have the Southern Stafford, which is the Falmouth area headquarters, and the Northern area, which is the Stafford area headquarters. So each monitor is assigned a zone, and that monitor is out riding the roads. And what I found out through this process with a big snowstorm in the first snowstorm of the year, that some of these monitors may not be as familiar okay. with the entire area. So I've got some things that I'm going to talk with my team about, about potentially using people that work at that area headquarters as the monitors instead of having personnel that report to the district that serve in different capacities that don't know the roads as well. So we have monitors out there that may not be familiar with the area, and of course, they will miss things. Okay, that's good to know. Mr. Cavalier. I just wanted to pass on that I had exactly zero complaints about snow removal so kudos on especially given the vast amount of snow that fell i think you guys did a tremendous job mr chair mr Mildy? and i can say that i had one worked through the issue until i found out it was in the garrisonville district so i had exactly d zero also thank you you did a great job it's, and for the big we've had a few big ones in the last 10 years since i've been on the board and just a few huge storms like this and this is the best um response or lack thereof that I've ever gotten. Uh, I represent the largest district land-wise and probably the most rural, and I had a total of three complaints. So uh, you did a great job. Thanks. One question keeps coming up. I know the answer to this, but I'd, I'd like you to take an opportunity just to give the VDOT answer. Sidewalks. We don't clear them. Thank you. Um, I think I'll wrap up the, the comments, at least on the snow portion. Um, I had one or two emails there at the end, but it was literally within two hours of the snow stopping and somebody wasn't sure why we weren't in their subdivision, so I didn't bother you with that. Um, uh, overall, it was great. The, the very next day, probably within an hour of the snow stopping, I had to go to Spotsylvania, and I was like, uh-oh. The roads literally were blacktop um, from the country road all the way over to Central Park, and I was, I was pretty amazed by that, um, given the fact that the snow had just stopped. So I know the, the highway and the primary roads, definitely, y'all did a great job on that.